welcome back i hope you're having a great day today we are i'm actually back at the flea market and i only came here because my sister wanted to come and i just want to come hang out with her for a little while and also they i wanted to take a second look at that cabinet that i just think i showed you just a peek of it in the last video i have become obsessed <laughs> <laughs> with this antique cabinet that I found on Facebook Marketplace, but it's in Nashville and it's $650 and that's not going to happen. So I've been stalking Facebook Marketplace to try to find another one that looks similar and is more in my price range and so far no luck. So I just thought I'd come back and look at this one. I don't think it's the one, but um, still going to take a look at it and check it out and then just hang out with my sister. So there's not a lot going on right now. I'm not working on any project at the moment. So I'm not sure what I was going to be in this video, <laughs> but I'm definitely going to have Timmy singing in it. I know you guys have been missing that. I already have a clip recorded. Um, he's been feeling a little better. I know I had mentioned um, on Instagram that he hadn't been feeling well. Um, but he's doing, he's feeling a little better. So that's good. Um, so we're going to run in here, hang out with my sister for a little while. If I happen to see anything interesting, I'll record it for you guys. But we're definitely going to take a look at that cabinet. So let's get in here. Found anything good? I did find a little nightstand that I was thinking about getting. Did you? Ever since I decorated for Valentine's Day with the soft pinks and corals, I've really been drawn to this color and to these pink glasses. I just think they're so pretty. I thought these plates were interesting. I think there was 16 of them and they were $24.95. I also liked these little... Um, pictures here with the little teapots. I thought they were cute. I didn't really care for the matting around the picture though. The green just wasn't my thing, but I thought they were cute. My sister was really into looking at all of the old vintage toys. She found a lot that she thought my little niece Sophie would like. There was a lot of little like um, old doll houses and little toys that go in the doll houses. It was really, really sweet. Okay, here's one of the cabinets that I saw last week that I wanted to take a closer look at. Um, it's similar in size and, you know, has two drawers and the cabinets at the bottom like the one that I was looking at on Facebook. This one is a lot darker and um, I really like the shape of the doors. I think that's pretty, but I do remember that when I looked at it last week, I didn't really... I didn't really consider it because the drawer didn't want to close properly and the door at the bottom didn't seem to fit just right. But I thought I'd take another look and see if maybe it's something that, you know, could be fixed easily. Um, but in the end, I decided that for $250, it just wasn't what I wanted. So I'm going to keep looking. I like this big basket. I thought it was a nice shape and it was $10. And then I also really like this wooden bowl. I thought this would be pretty on like a bathroom vanity with some bar soaps in it. I thought these old brass ladles were really cool. Um, it says brass dipper with long iron handle. They were $26. Um, but I just thought they were really neat. And I also like this little gold mirror that was here beside them. And this was $28. No, $23. It says antique gold frame. And then I saw this um, floor lamp. It was actually from Restoration Hardware. Now, I have never set foot in a Restoration Hardware, but I'm sure that it is pricey. And they had this lamp marked for $95. I saw this antique brown uh, pitcher last time I was here. And I've been thinking about it ever since. So I'm going to pick it up today. And also, I ran across this little end table. I really like the shape of it. I like that it has a little drawer there. It was $35, and I think it would look really nice refinished. Chelsea doesn't see my vision. <laughs> they also had this black one that I thought was really nice. I would probably change out the hardware on it. It was $38.99. Um, not too bad for a little nightstand. I saw these little Elvis precious moments in the display case up front. They were so cute. They were precious. 
So I found this one. It's not exactly like the one that I saw on Facebook, but I really like the shape of it and it's just about the perfect size for my space. It's not too big, not too small. I can see my pretty white dishes stacked in there. Oh, I might get this one. I'm a little excited. I wasn't a fan of the knobs on it or the drawer pulls, but that's something that can easily be changed out. It functioned properly. The doors opened okay. The drawer worked fine and the cabinets at the bottom were good. So it really is in good shape. It just needs a little tender loving care. So thankfully Chelsea here is driving a truck today, <laughs> but I don't know how in the world we're going to get it to the truck. <laughs> Do they got or in the, the truck? Do they got like the little uh, dolly? Yeah. I don't know. We'll I ask. Seen some Guys, I am so excited about this cabinet. I can't even tell you. And um, it's got a great little story. The um, when I was I emptied everything out of it and set it on the table that was there, also in that booth. And I went and got, they have like a flatbed thing that you can load stuff on. So I went and got that when I got back. There was an older gentleman. Chelsea, you're totally blocking the road. Hold on. All right, so I'm following my sister. She's got my hutch in the back of her truck. As I was saying, I, um, so I was unloading all the dishes and stuff that were in it. And I put it on the table that was beside it. And I went and got this flatbed thing that they have to load furniture and stuff on. And when I got back, there was an older gentleman and his wife standing there. And he said, are you buying this? And I said, yeah. He said, well, I'm, I was going to help you load it. And I was like, okay. You know, I was like, that's great because it's kind of heavy. And um, he helped us get it on there. And he was just chatting and everything. He had on a veteran's hat. And um, he just like... It was like he knew, like we were family or something. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing. Like he just was just talking and telling, telling me all this stuff. And he said, you know, this was my sister's and she passed away. And I could tell he was a little emotional about it. And um, he said he didn't want to get rid of it. And he had had it in his storage building for a long time because he couldn't get rid of it. And then finally, you know, um, he decided that it was time to part with it so he brought it up here and put it in his booth and I just I just feel like I was meant to have it I felt like I was meant to be there and to be there at the same time he was like how how special is that because he's not he's from Clarksville he come out he helped us load it in the truck and was just so kind and just cutting up and you know I told him I was like I will take excellent care of it and he, he just kept thanking me and it's precious precious so you know he said I appreciate y'all and um, I you know thanked him and thanked him for his service and he was just just a nice man so I'm glad my sister invited me to go today because I wouldn't have been there I wouldn't have found the hutch I wouldn't have got to meet that nice man and um, it's just great. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, somewhere I can find myself <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky Okay, guys, I just got back from doing a Walmart grocery pickup. I thought I'd share with you what I picked up today. I got some cabbage here. Um, I'm going to have cabbage and smoked sausage one day. This looks like lettuce. This is not cabbage. They've given me the wrong thing. 
I like to have these for breakfast with some eggs and uh, pepper and onions. I use this pepper and onion blend from Walmart. Makes it nice and easy and quick. I got these Atkins bars. These are the only Atkins bars that I like. I've been buying these forever. There's two grams of sugar in it and three grams of net carbs, but these are really good. They're kind of like a chocolate covered payday. That's how I would describe it. Um, I got some Rayos pasta sauce and a spaghetti squash and some ground beef. I got this sweet kale salad. I thought this looked interesting. I've never tried this one before, but it has um, broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, dried cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and poppy seed dressing. This sounded really good, but I also got some skinny girl poppy seed dressing. This is my favorite skinny girl dressing. I started using this years ago, and it's really good. I also got another Kentucky Legend ham. I like to make little, like, um, kind of like a little mini charcuterie board sometimes for dinner. And I'll have ham and cheese, um, like a hard-boiled egg, um, just different little things like that instead of having an actual meal. And then I got some sugar-free chocolate pudding cups and sugar-free jello. Got some... Um, Oatmeal, this is the maple and brown sugar with the lower sugar. This is really good. We eat this quite a bit. Um, let's see. I got some Italian sausage. This is to make the low-carb Zupa, Zupa Toscana soup. And I also got coconut milk to go in that. Um, I forgot to get the cauliflower, so I still have to get that. And also bacon goes in this. So I picked up some bacon. I got some chicken tenders to make some low carb chicken strips, a bag of chopped onions, I got Timmy some lemonade, he likes to drink this sugar free lemonade, um, I got some tomatoes, this is sugar free whipped topping made with heavy cream, this is good on jello or the pudding cups for a nice snack. I got a big bag of Caesar salad mix. Timmy really likes Caesar salad, so I thought he might enjoy that. Um, some rotisserie chicken slices. I got a big thing of um, lotion. This is the cocoa butter. I really like this kind here. Battery's about to die, so I'm trying to get through this. I've got these two good yogurts. I got two strawberries, a black cherry, and a peach. I usually do add just a little sugar substitute to these because they're not very sweet, and I like mine sweet. And I also picked up some garlic Texas toast. This is the best garlic toast hey, ever. Sugar. I love it. What are you doing? Hi, girl. Hi, girl. Hi, dear. What are you doing? All right, guys, so I got the cabinet in here. I got it, or me and Chelsea got it in here. I got it wiped down real good, and now I'm going over it with some of this old English like I put on my, um, like I put on my dresser in my bedroom. It's this one. This one is for dark woods, um, scratch cover. This stuff is amazing, y'all. Let me show you. I did one of the doors. Let me show you the difference between the one that I polished and the one that's not. Okay. So I think it's pretty obvious which side has been polished and which one hasn't. Look how different that is. And it's still drying on this side. There, you can tell the difference big time right there. See that? How cool. Good morning, Timmy. Good morning, Steph. How's it going today? Wonderful, wonderful. How are you feeling? You feeling any better? Uh, a little peppy. I'm, I'm all right. Got a little peppy in your step today? <laughs> Get a little more pep in my step than normal, you know. Good. Everybody's been missing your songs on your videos. I have felt bad, but I'm, I'm, so I'm glad to be back. <laughs> um, do you have a song for him today? Got a good one. What a day that will be. All right. There is coming a day. When no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye, all is peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I 
Christ your Savior. When I look upon His face, the one who saved me by His grace, when He takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. When He takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. All right, good job. Praise the Lord. That's right, friends. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, I pray that you do now because you got a glorious day waiting on you if you give your heart to Him. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to finish polishing up this china cabinet. And then in the next video, we'll be putting all of our pretty white dishes in here, changing out the knobs. I'll be looking for some new ones this week. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead. And we will see you in the next video. <laughs> Can I go out? Okay, let's go.